Kramer back deep once again to return this kick for the Saints. Well, what a tale of two halves, Chris. I mean, Dunn really couldn't get anything going offensively. They made a few big plays and hit a hit a throw here or there, but didn't have anything going. They they come out taking the second half drive and scored, got a turnover and punched it in. It's it's uh, you know what they they've owned this third quarter and taken a 14 to two lead, uh, three 3:42 to play. And the Saints definitely need an answer here. It's a squib, and it's going to be taken by Kramer at the seven. Looking for room and makes a move at the 25. And out across the 30, one of his better returns of the evening. Move to get the ball out on the 30. You know, when that ball's bouncing like that, and it's it, it sometimes hard to pick up. But hey, right here, they, they've got to they've got to get Epperson to settle down. They got to get him some easy throws or get him something that he's comfortable with. Because right now, uh, this this All Saints offense has had no answer for a 3-4 defense. It's it's really put the kibosh on him. And, and quite frankly, I, I, I would bet you a, a lot of money right now that, that Jacob Matlock is very frustrated in the fact that he hasn't been able to get out in the open field here. Yeah, the Saints leading rusher through the first three games, and he's been bottled up tonight. Bothwell has been the number one target person so far, and he's had a couple of big plays. But once again, the Saints, even though with those plays in the first half, un, first half unable to finish the Three, drives. Three, four, and look at points. these linebackers. Chris walked up in there. Now they're going to come out. Epperson's going to hand it to Matlock. Matlock cutting to the outside, making a move, and another nice run on first down. Just like the last drive, he gets 13 here and just shy of midfield. Good job to finish his run right there. Boy, Jacob's a tough runner. You see him run with his shoulders over his toes now. He, he's finishing going north and south. That young man can finish a run. Good run. Pick up 13 on first down and see if you can keep it going here. 49-yard line. It's the line of scrimmage. Bothwell pointing at a blitzing linebacker. Matlock gets the handoff again, and this time nothing able to inside. get to the midfield stripe and nothing more. Yeah, they try to run a little power right there and see if they can pop it in there. Unfortunately, for whatever reason, the Saints offense looks confused. They're not getting that second-level block that's really able to spring him. Looking to throw, he's pressured, trying to get it out in the flat to Matlock. It's incomplete. And he may be hurt. His hand might be hurt. But did he hit his helmet? And it looks like there's already tape on that hand. He took a, he took a pretty good shot right there. Again, turning somebody free inside. Try to get it into the flat to Matlock. Puts him in a third and, and, and long eight situation here. Empty, empty set. Now they're empty. Going to see if they can get some guys out of the box. Everett steps up in the pocket across the middle and trying to get it to Bothwell. It's knocked down by John Emanuel. Tried to run that dig inside there. And you know what? They were only bringing three. And any time you drop eight, those windows are very close in there. You cannot miss with the football at all. Saints keep the offense on the field. Fourth and nine. Try to see if they can get him to jump. Dunn's very disciplined. I think they're going to come back now and get it. Here they, here they come motion, come across the trips. They're going to punt this football, I believe. Epperson takes the steps back. Looks like he's in punt formation. Quick kick and over the head of the returner. Takes a nice Saints bounce, and they're going to catch up to it inside the 10-yard line, actually all the way down to the two. And that is a nice job of the Saints special teams there to put the Falcons deep in their own territory and let this defense get an opportunity, maybe get a turnover and do some do some uh, do some scoring of their own. See if they can get them in a short. Now you're gonna this this right here. It, it really, I mean, we say we talk about big drives. You only got so many chances in a game, Chris. But anytime you got them backed up like this, now I got a feeling Brian Edmondson and the, is the defensive coordinator here at All Saints. He's going to try to dial something up to see if he can stem the tide of this football game. Because right now, after the, the Bishop Dunn has come out at halftime, they have definitely had the momentum on their side. Now backed up to the two-yard line. be interesting to see what they do. And neither one of their big backs is in the game. Entire backfield in the end zone. They hand it off straight ahead and banging across the five. The runner gets... About one and a half. Looks like Barksdale is in there at running back. They try to run that little 
that little zip fake, that little, you know, where, where anytime you can run that ghost fake over the top, they're trying to loosen that end. Hey, get them a little breathing room right here, second and six. Fourteen to two, Falcons over the Saints here in the third quarter, and this time the quarterback keeping it, coming near side, making moves and out across the twenty-yard line, and that is a good way to get out of uh, the area deep. <laughs> yeah, it's a good Evans, way to get out of get it get out of trouble. Let's Evans, that. Great feed. I mean, he he, 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 he ran the, he ran the little fake inside. Now watch him watch him fake it inside. Keep the football. Now he takes a look out there. Doesn't see what he likes. Reverses his field right back here. Very athletic. That young man is dangerous when he gets in the open field. Got to have a quarterback to improvise, Chris. You know what? It's not always going to be there clean. First and 10 at the 22. They hand it this time, and it's crashed down, coming from the end spot to make the tackle there. That looks like 57, Alex Nelson once yeah. again for the Saints, and that's a good play there on first down, minimal game. Alex Nelson, nice job right here. He's cro watching cross the face, cross the face right here. And anytime you can do that, you can come down hard inside, make the play. That's what you want to see. Put him in a second, nine. And you can tell Dunn is trying to run this clock down. They, they are taking their time right here. 56 seconds. The quarter, they're going to let this go all the way down so they only have to run one more play. Second and nine ahead by 12. And the handoff once again and bottled up from behind. Nice play there by Hasman Singh. And that's for no gain. And I think you said it, the play clock and the game clock are pretty close. So we'll see the Falcons make another snap here on third and long. That's it. 20 game clocks, at 12, play clocks at 26. It's just a few ticks off. They're going to have to run a play on third and 12. They're not going to get out of the quarter right here. It's a big opportunity for the Saints defense to get a hold after the good down punt. Don't be surprised to see Cayman Lane. You've got to spy this quarterback. You can't allow this quarterback to get out in the open field here. There comes Love, Love creeping off in the on the outside. And they're going deep with the football. And they've got a man streaking up the far sideline. And it's complete out to the Saints 41 yard line. That's the last play of the third quarter. And man, that is tough. Good, hey, good job by him. You know what? He saw T Love come off the edge. Third and 12, he put it up where only his guy could go get to it. And he got to it. What a completion. And get yourself in great field position to end the quarter. We're going to take a break here at the end of the third quarter. Four to two, the Bishop Dunn Falcons over All Saints.